Alright, at this point you're going to need Mudbox installed on your computer. The reason I'm using Mudbox is uh, IEDT students have it installed on their computer. It's free as a student version. And professionally, I prefer ZBrush than Mudbox. Okay, so that's just a disclaimer, and that's why I have to teach Mudbox is because, yeah, that's that's what's in the classroom. All right. That being said, let's hop into a perspective view and center this character up. So, dog Victor on the keyboard. I can center that. I can also go modify center pivot, but I want to make sure that it's centered on the um, the line axes of the character, the m median point here in the center of the face. Then I'm just going to jump into a top view and hit X on the keyboard. That will snap it to this very center line of the scene, and then I'm just going to pull it forward just like that. Okay, so that's a good meridian point, and let's go export this to Mudbox. I'm going to just send that as a new scene. Okay, so here's that character. Uh, initially, all I want to use is the grab tool, and I want to use mirror and X. Now, if I mouse over this, it'll show me that grid point is in the center of the character, and that's exactly where I want it. Okay, so here, uh, B, click and drag, allows you to make a bigger brush. And that's what I kind of want to focus on is the fact that, you know, I want something really big, really broad. All I'm doing is softening the character up quite a bit and moving this mouth in as much as possible. Now I've also found it very handy to have a kind of a division mark here. So Shift D will divide the character up and then page up and page down will go from high to low. Immediately when you actually divide it once, you can just go back to page down and you'll find that it does a really nice job of already kind of smoothing out the character. And I'm just kind of moving these a little bit here and there. Try not to give it any kind of real features because, yeah, this is kind of my sewing dummy. I don't want it to have anything I might follow later on. In other words, if if it looks like an elf, I'm going to go with an elf every time. If it looks like an orc, I'm going to go with an orc every time. I want it to be sort of featureless. Now I'm kind of tuning or toning this down where there's there's a shape I'm aiming for right in this area. See how that shape is. Again, B on the keyboard too. Go. Again, the eyes, I'm just kind of moving those in, just like that. So there's a character without a nose just yet. That's something I would add later on. There we go. Same with the ear, 
what I want to do is kind of move all this stuff into an area where the ear would be. And you can pretend this, this area right here is going to be the very small area on the interior of the ear. So all I'm really concerned with is getting this kind of to align with the brow. that in just a little bit. Alright, and you'll notice that as you move around things, you know, it just flows really nice, you know, as, as I'm pushing and pulling. Now holding shift, you should be able to smooth it. So if I went like this, I just want to kind of put some kind of jaw structure in, not much, just just there. Hold shift to kind of smooth all this out. Again, try to stay away from uh, running with the character just yet. And pretend you're looking at a guy that's smiling with his teeth showing. Okay, that helps. Okay, there we go. Not too bad. Um, I do tend to flatten this area a little bit, so I grab the flatten tool. And the strength is set to ridiculous low. Oops. But yeah, you can see that ridiculous low is meant to be there sometimes. Got to find that not so ridiculous low. Or strength. That's what I'm touching. Oops. So B on the keyboard for that. Strength gonna adjust it just a little bit here just hit flatten until I get a nice flat uh, another thing you could do is step up once so shift D again to give you that It's just now starting to flatten out. There we go. Cool. Now let's back it all the way down again. And there we go. We got a very low poly head for our starter mesh. Now if we send that back to Maya, we can kind of find adjust it. Update current scene. Perfect. Now certain things in Mudbox are easy, certain things in Maya are easy, like, you know, I can now adjust this a little bit more based on a view. But all I'm generally doing here is, is keeping the edge loops where they need to go topology-wise. Now there is another edge loop that we could put in, it's for the eyes. Okay. To put it in, I'm just going to basically go like this a little bit and a little bit like this. Notice when I do this, I, I scale on both sides. Let's 
just like that. Control R, and we're going to put that edge loop in. That's going to give us more control over this area. Then I just kind of do this all the way down. Now there's going to be several edge loops on the inside here. Again, that's that's coming later. But for right now, we have a, a good starting mesh for via topology. Don't add any more detail, or you'll be confined by that detail later on. All right. So I hope you enjoyed the low poly character. And then we'll go on with the series. Enjoy.